Hello, everyone. How are we doing tonight? Hello, Sage, Outlet, Mid, Weeb Trash, Gretcha. Uh, hello, Awen. I believe you are new here. Hello, welcome, welcome. Hello, Wind Plumes. Hi, Celeste. Gonna be lurking? Yeah, that's all right. I understand. The Tory should do more crimes. <laughs> he should. <laughs> All right. So. We have our last abyss of version 3.x. <laughs> oh, I need to plug my headphones in one moment. Okay, strictly speaking, I didn't actually need to, uh, to plug my headphones in, but I wanted to, uh, make sure I do before the battery gets low. Star Rail Special Program was, was announced and Fushuen is escaping you. Ah. Donathon thumbnail is beautiful. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I, um, I put the donation incentives in the description for that stream so if you guys want when you have the time you can take a look at them let me know uh what you think because i am open to adjusting them a little bit there were some that i just kind of made up on the spot that i wasn't super sure about uh so yeah but yeah donathon on friday Anyways, Abyss. Let us, uh... I can never remember who I want to use on which side here. Not that it matters much. Uh, Farzan. Your profile pic is Ritzley with a dual disc. Yeah, I noticed. <laughs> it's very funny. I like it. Have I watched the Japella trailer thing? No. When I get the chance, I want to record a reaction to all of the Myriad Celestia trailers. But, um... I'm a little bit behind on my recording lately. So... Uh, we'll see when I'm able to get around to that. Get over there. Well, it will die in 4.1. Oh yeah, I saw the drip marketing. <laughs> Some of the stuff they were saying about, uh, about Nouvellet was, um, very interesting. <laughs> Very interesting indeed. Hello, Muhammad. Welcome, welcome. So glad you have a guarantee. Nice. Four point one was drip marketed. Yeah. It's, uh, Nivellet and Risley. Risley, however the heck you say it. Excuse you for a moment, you gotta see your husbands. The Donathon goals are good? Nice. Kai went to the same acting school as Zhongli. The bad one? <laughs> the Zhongli can't act. Every goal we meet should be a Tory abuse. <laughs> I just put the $5 one in on a whim, honestly, because I was like, oh, that would be funny. <laughs> 37-ish pity for Kafka's light cone. Oh, good luck. Don't have a guarantee and you're pulling for child. 
Oh, good luck. Thankfully, that's um second half. So there's time to save up. Losing hope. Oh, no. I believe in you, wind plumes. You will get the light cone. Valette thought he's well young. <laughs> How much longer till 4.0? Just a couple of days. In fact, it uh it comes out tomorrow night technically. Um I do have uh Currently I have tomorrow's stream scheduled for um Tomorrow's stream is planned to be uh fucking uh, simulated universe because Genshin will be on maintenance but I might um, once Genshin comes off maintenance and we finish up simulated universe for the week I might uh, move the stream for the first part I might move the first 4.0 stream up words are very hard <laughs> but yeah uh, I might start streaming it tomorrow night if I can otherwise we're gonna start streaming on Wednesday Genshin's gonna be very quiet for you until Arlecchino yeah Playing Baldur's Gate 3 and having a normal one with romance options. <laughs> I've heard a lot of people have very good things to say about Baldur's Gate 3. Imagine being able to speak English properly. <laughs> Imagine being able to speak and do things at the same time. This is a crucial skill for streamers, and yet I cannot do it. Drip marketed very quickly. 4.0 hasn't even released yet. Oh no, they normally release the drip marketing like a day or two before a patch comes out. I think it is a little bit early. Normally they would have posted it tonight, I think. The Abyss Mage got destroyed. Yeah, that was cool. <laughs> Shinobu just obliterated that guy. 106 pulls for Arlecchino so far. Nice. Every single missile straight to the face. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Need the Hydro Boy, have zero... Have zero primos and a dream. This morning was the usual time for the drip marketing. Was it? Uh, I guess that makes sense. I can't remember exactly, but that sounds about right. Trying to read their text, but your eyes aren't eyeing. <laughs> you always see it in the morning. Yeah, I just couldn't remember if it was normally like. Uh. So, like, today's Monday for me, right? So the patch comes out late Tuesday night. So I couldn't remember if the drip marketing was normally like Tuesday morning or if it was normally like Monday morning. Oh, 
on humans is not going to rest for a long time. Yeah. Yep, we're gonna be a bit busy for a, a while. But that's fine. I'm just a few hours ahead of you. Yeah. Not Batman being mentioned in Nubalette's text. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I giggled a little when I saw that. I was like... <laughs> Even in Fontaine, people know about the Dark Knight hero. They threw shade at Batman. They sure did. When will the update come on the America server? Uh, tomorrow night, not sure when exactly off the top of my head. I feel like it's normally like 10-ish p.m. Eastern Time. It's already Tuesday at 3 a.m. for you. Oh, wow. I think the he's the only male Melusine thing was like a rumor in universe or like speculation. It didn't seem like it was a hard confirmation. This mage got killed by Diona. That's embarrassing. <laughs> One arm from Risley equals two Ito arms. <laughs> Probably because the Melusine see him as a father figure. Yeah. There is definitely something going on with him. There's definitely something going on with Nouvellet. Honestly, the stuff they dropped with his drip marketing just makes the uh, dragon uh, bishop theory feel even more likely. To me, at least. Excuse me! Will you let me use my abilities? Ito slander never stops. It never will. Love Ito, but he needs to stop skipping arm day. <laughs> Secret love child of a bishop and a melusine? Hmm. Considering what the... the, uh... melusines look like, I don't know how much I like that game theory. <laughs> Personally. A bishop or an oceanid? Yeah. One of those seems like the most likely answer. Ah! How dare you! Use your skill. Thank you. Skitty X Waylord all over again. Ah! <laughs> Just
Just because you're right doesn't mean I have to like it. <laughs> Man, get back down. Grizzly's banner art looks adorable. You like his hair a lot? Yeah, his hair looks like, like dog ears, which fits, because, you know, Cerberus constellation, which I found very interesting. From his description and the Cerberus constellation, it makes it seem like, I guess he's kind of like a prison guard or something, which is interesting it's really interesting <laughs> but can you pet him <laughs> Feeds your prison guard, throw you to jail. <laughs> hmm. It's probably a prison guard for Oceanids. Maybe. I don't know if this is the best arrangement, but oh well. Your wife enjoys bullying you, it seems. Rip. <gasps> oh, good luck. Good luck. People in the comments are saying he's a cryocatalyst, but you don't see it. Oh, I think we're all just desperate for a cryocatalyst. the 50-50 for Yalan. Who do you wish for? Uh, whoever you want. People were saying he was a polearm at first. You don't think people know what he is. Thought he would be a Claymore. Considering how buff his arms are, you'd think Claymore as well. I mean, um, I'll hate them as a sword user, so I don't think arm size necessarily equates to weapon. Probably a cryo pole arm so he can keep the ocean ants in their cells easier. New Geo Girl is a Claymore, it's so over. Yeah, Navia is a Claymore user, but that doesn't mean much as far as uh, figuring out Risley's weapon type. Gonna try pre downloading tonight. Yeah, that would be a good idea. Might get the Ito treatment in the arms? God, I hope so. Or, I hope not. Not. I meant not. I meant not. <laughs> you believe pole arm or sword user over catalyst? Yeah, he does seem like a melee character. Using war bows requires a lot of 
strength, but all our bows are Ito arms. Well, war bows, yes, but um, not all bows are like super heavy duty, super heavy strength. I mean, heck, I've got noodle arms and I can use a bow. And my source is that I own a bow, although it is a very, very low draw weight. Probably not suitable for actual combat, but it could definitely hurt a person if I shot somebody. <laughs> on Simulacra is actually Ito's arms if you zoom in close enough. first five-star cryo male character. I mean, we're kind of assuming he's a five-star. He does kind of seem like he would be one. He probably is. But he might not be. We'll see. Ear al ears alone add one star. <laughs> he does serve five star energy, that is true. <laughs> Chong Yun is our six star cryo unit. Your sources that you made it up. See him being our French standard unit? Hmm, maybe. I could kind of see Navia being a standard five star. I don't know why. Something about her just feels standard banner to me. Wait, wait, crap, Shinobu died. <laughs> uh, Navia's the Geo character, yeah. They're never adding a Geo unit to standard. <laughs> oh, we have to believe. Should be Albedo, but no. Excuse me. Excuse me. Stop that. Should be Albedo because his cons suck. Yeah, Albedo really should be a standard character. If Albedo was a standard character, I wouldn't have had to, uh... Ah! 
Utopia. Uh, if Albedo was a standard character, I wouldn't have had to uh, dip into my Wanderer funds for him back when I did do that. Standard units need to be easy to use and simple. Ah! Oh god. 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 Oh jeez, that was close. Ooh, I wonder if I can uh, successfully restar this. Time's uh, cutting it close. But I might be able to. If I really try. any new standard units if you want them pull for them there is never a guarantee you'll get them yeah that's uh why i pulled for tignari on bows only when he first came out instead of uh waiting for him to hit standard so i was like there's not really any guarantee also his banner was just straight up bow impact so it was just a good idea also if they come with uh, also, if they come with a signature, pull the signature if they're good. Yeah. Also, yay! I did it! I three-starred that! I was uh, a little worried about that. <laughs> Alright, floor 12. Already? Wow, okay. In general, pull the signature as a collector's item. Yeah, personally, that is probably what I would do. Okay, I think I know what I want to do here. I'm gonna use Barbara instead of Diona there. Mmm. <laughs> I need a shielder. I, I think Noelle has artifacts right now, so we'll bring Noelle for shielding. Grizzly's a standard polearm. You don't need his signature. Also, you probably won't be able to get enough for him and his weapon, especially after tomorrow. Fair enough. If you can get the, uh, signature weapons for future uh, standard characters, I definitely recommend it. But, like, if you can't, oh well. My beloved. Hmm. 
need these guys to die. You have two staffs of Scarlet Sand. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just saying, like, generally. Generally speaking. If you can, great. If you can't, oh well. Man, this chamber really is just drain your HP central, huh? is torturing you with biscuits. <laughs> Rip. Where did this enemy go? Ah, there it is. No, come back here. Using Kabe for that chamber was challenging. Oh, I bet. Where did you go? Here. Get over here. I am not gonna three star this, but that is okay. We all know I have never once 36, 36 starred Abyss in my life. Don't think I've ever uh, three starred a single chamber on floor 12. Sausage patties taste like the spicy void. <laughs> really want to know why Tignari and Dia's signatures were not added to standard. I don't know. I don't know. Ah! Crap. Sumeru is based on a very broad range of areas, including uh, India, uh, parts of, like, Southwest Asia and Northern Africa, uh, Egypt. Hope their weapons get added to standard later. Yeah, God, I hope so. Know your place. We'll see about that. Swan Fury. No idea where you would be into that. I think going based on like real world logic, um, 
I would most likely be somebody from, uh, from Mondstadt. Although, like, people love to say, oh, this nation is based on this one specific nation, and, like, except for, uh... With a couple of exceptions, that's not really true. Like, Leoa is basically the only one that is just 100% one single nation and culture. Everywhere else has a mixture of cultures. Uh, Natlin would be the closest country to Brazil? Probably? I think people have been saying uh, Latin America for Natlin. be like, I love you, let me skin you alive. So true. But like, this is actually something I was thinking about a little bit recently because, uh, I was trying to come up with a Genshin AU for, um, Owl from Honkai Impact. And if you don't know, Owl is Filipino. Possibly Chinese Filipino? Probably. Uh, considering his name is uh, Chen Tianwu, that's a very Chinese name, but like his whole backstory is in the Philippines. And I was trying to figure it out, and I'm like, bro, there's no Southeast Asia in, in Tibet. So I was like, okay, what if I just like make up some islands like in the ocean between Liyue and Inazuma and call that like fantasy Philippines. <laughs> Cause it feels weird just saying, oh, he's, he would be just from Liyue or whatever. Cause he's Filipino. That's not Chinese. <laughs> I star rail love you, Fushuan, but come on, have you seen his wolf his hair wolf ears? <laughs> yeah. Who would win? Fushuan. Or one guy with ears that or with hair that looks like dog ears. Two stars, not bad. And it only took me two tries. If we make it to the Sino goal, what team am I wanting? Uh, that is a good question. I don't know what kind of teams work best for him. I would assume like a, a Quicken or a Quick Bloom team would be best. Could do standard quick bloom or chaos. Uh, probably just quick bloom, honestly. Excuse me. How dare you shoot me out of the air? Fit pull for Yolan, that would be amazing for him. 
Uh, I'm probably not gonna go for Yalan on this account, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. Thundering furry, but no razor. <laughs> Yeah, maintenance starts, like, uh, in the evening, my time zone, which is, uh, eastern time. Oh, wait, why am I using shields? How dare you? know if Noelle has her artifacts on. Well, she's doing a a decent job of shielding, so that's what matters. not have to restart this chamber. You want to play not for t <laughs> Taylor, Navia, or Risley, but for the sewers. I hope you enjoy your sewer time. find the uh, the big rat that makes all the rules down there No rat, you're a phantom that chills down in the opera house below. <laughs> that, that chills below the opera house. I see. Sage is truly entering their phantom of the opera art. Now comes the real challenge. You forgot to Genshin today. Fair enough.
Kafka used her powers on you. She used the Spirit Whisper on you. And made Fushuen even smaller. Ah! Oh no, Farzan! Ah, we can live without Farzan, it's fine. Probably. Madam Farzan says, no sense of respect. Exactly. problem with short woman, but come on, fish when Clara isn't even wearing shoes. <laughs> yeah, imagine being the same height as a 12-year-old who's not even wearing shoes. <laughs> in the mood to deal with this. I am not going to lie. <laughs> Simo is the pastor for the no-shoe religion. <laughs> Something possessed you to build Ching Chua today? Heck yeah, gambling addiction. <laughs> we love our Mahjong queen. You know what? I'm going to consider this good enough. I do not care. <laughs> I want to see, uh, how did we do last time? Strongest single strike was 52k. Not bad, not bad. How does that compare to... Oh, that's, um... We've had better. I see. I still don't know how far Zon did this one. <laughs> stay a while without playing you can get that one event right can give double artifact drops uh stellar reunion yeah i don't remember if it gives double artifact drops but it probably does anyways uh so this is a bit of a shorter stream but i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up here for tonight um like I said, tomorrow we're doing um, Simulated Universe, and then we might start uh, the Fontaine Archon quest, like, right after that. We will see. If not, we'll do it on Wednesday. So, I hope to see you all then.